Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at these. These are new arcade machines from Blaze. Uh, the Atari Mini Arcade 1, Atari Mini Arcade 2, released on 29th of November this year, so only a couple of days ago. Um, as you see, it's, it's modelled on the original arcade machines. This one, 12 games. Um, this one, 5. Uh, powered by micro USB cable or 4 AA batteries. I'm going to use batteries in this case. Uh, light up coin slot button on there. Can't wait to see. Um, full colour 2.8 inch screen on both, uh, two player action pong on this one. Uh, very interested to see how these play, I'm really more interested in the controls and the games. Um, we were slightly worried we were going to get a terrible port of um, Pac-Man, uh, but that hasn't happened so that's fine. Um, I'm more interested really how this controls. Uh, price £25 each, just under. Um, Amazon or Funstock Retro you can get them from. Uh, so yeah, let's pop them out of the box and have a little look. Uh, at the moment, I mean, they look great as it is. There we go. There's a little bit of fluff at the bottom. I'll just uh, pop that out. Okay. I should say, we actually I reviewed the Atari retro handheld console on this channel. It's made by the same guys, made by Blaze. This had 50 games added to it. Um, so yeah, same people. Let's have a look. So yeah, this tells you see a mini arcade user guide. Circus Atari off the wall. Yeah, I'll have a look at the games in a moment. Battery safety. Nah, I'm okay. Yeah, okay, that's the, the fluff at the bottom there. We'll get this one out and then we'll have a look at what games are on each. Oh, keep that separate, keep them separate. I am liking them so far just to look good on my desk. That's uh, you know, 25 quid's a lot of money for a desk ornament, but uh, I am extremely easily pleased. Yeah, so there we are, same bit of fluff at the bottom of this one. Let's see, the language just tells you, uh, removable joystick. Oh, okay. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course it's removable joystick. Actually, I wonder how that removes. I take it it's just a screw. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's one way to test it. Just try and screw it. Um, so, yeah, very small, you see next to my hand, 2.8 inch screen. Um, yeah, they look nice. I mean, I like this. I like the wood effect on the Pong machine. I think that's nice. Uh, yeah, on off. It's. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is just a sticker. Headphone out there, volume at the back. There's your USB C port there. Um, there's your serve button for Pong. Uh, we'll have a look at this one, so the stick comes off here to give you the access to the D-pad. There you are. Um, feels like a reasonable quality buttons and D-pad to be honest. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Screw that back on. So the actual games included, we have Pong, Warlords, Breakout, Steeplechase, Circus Atari, Night Driver, Off the Wall, Street Racer, uh, Super Breakout, Canyon Bomber, Video Olympics, and Demons to Diamonds. Never played Demons to Diamonds. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. We have Centipede, Yars Revenge, Sprint Master, Gravitar, and Adventure. So, I mean, that's actually quite a decent set of games on there. You could have done with more on that. One, I suppose, when you think the first one's got 12. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pop some batteries in these and we'll actually have a look at how they play. Okay. So here we go. This could be interesting. Uh, I should say the... Oh, it's quite loud. Volume control at the back here. I'm actually just going to turn that... Bit. Oh, wrong way. Turn it down a bit. Um, I should say... Is it both sticks to control? No. Um, so they are incremental, is that the word? 
Uh, which it's not a smooth turn here. Um, I'm interested to see how that actually plays on a game. We of course have to do Pong. We've got to do Pong. Uh, so we'll get started with that. Let me zoom in a bit on the screen here so you can actually see the game. Uh, serve? No. Helps if I press. So it's one player, two player. I'm just going to go for one player. Left stick. Controls. Let's see. Oh, 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 hey. Looks nice. Screen looks good. Reserving, oh, reserving judgment on the um, control for the minute. Uh, I mean, the actual not the the knob here, cheap plastic, not very, not smooth, not easily controlled. Um, yeah, it's quite a cheap feeling to the. I'm not particularly surprised at that, if I'm being honest. Right, I'm going to stop that because I, I want to reset and I want to see if we can try someone else. Um, so, Circus Atari, let's have a go with that. I'm actually kind of playing through the camera screen here, so this could be embarrassing. We'll just zoom back a bit so you can actually see my hands are doing right so it's left and right with this uh, I'll actually get one going there we go so it's a different yeah start and select oh. okay yeah that's it's not actually very easy to control. It's doable, but it's quite rough. You know, it feels feels grindy as you turn it. Uh, sorry, I keep forgetting to press the serve button. Yeah, and when I initially turn there, there's like a delay, like a lag delay. It doesn't feel it once he's initially launched there. Sorry, I looked away for a second. Yeah, see if it does it again here. So, uh, hit and serve. Sorry, press start first. Sorry, select. No, oh, that's because I've reset. I'm an idiot. Okay. So I want to try breakout. There's a bit of a, I mean, I don't know if it's meant to be, but there's a delay as I do that. So... That's not a big deal when you're only on the menu screen. Let's try Breakout. I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm actually struggling to see this. I'm going to have to zoom in. There we go. Uh, yeah, a bit hard to see from the angle I'm in, but it's all right. We'll give it a go. Yeah, I'm actually going to... I'm going to let myself... See if I can hold it up to the screen a bit. Actually, that's a bit smoother on breakout. A little bit smoother on breakout, a little bit nicer control there. Yeah, that's not so bad. Well, it helps if I actually return the... Uh, there we go. Sorry, it's a bit wobbly. I'm holding it up to the camera. Just the lighting is a bit hard to see the small screen. Oh, idiot. Okay, right, reset. Let's see what else we've got just quickly. Uh, how do I change to the next screen? Sque screen? How do I change to the next screen? I have absolutely no idea. Select? Yes, select. There we go. Um, okay. Oh dear. So I'm gonna break out then super break out. Um, okay, Street Racer, why not? This could be, could 
could be interesting. Okay. I think I did this one on the Atari handheld, actually. That rings a bell. Just checking. Okay. Check that one's not doing anything. Hmm. So you're getting a bit of control um, over the car there. So I'm actually the one that I'm least impressed with here. Um. Is Pong. Oh, a canyon bomber. Apologies if this screen doesn't look too great. It's. Uh... Okay, so, sorry. Hit start. Okay, so hit and serve. Okay, so that one, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that because you're not using the sticks in the same way. Um, okay. Okay, so with this one, uh, yeah, okay, it looks good. I, I like the idea of that sitting on a worktop um, desk, you know, that's going to look all right. Paddles, very cheap. Um, fun enough, the sound is quite nice um, and it's loud. Um, this, this plastic is fine. It actually feels great. It's not all that cheap, but these, I mean, really? You couldn't have done better than that? And it's a grind to actually get it to work. There's no real precision. They felt like a slight bit of lag could have been my imagination. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to have a look at the other one. Okay, so here we go. Here have a look at the uh, Atari Mini Arcade number two. Um, this one, you've got your D-pad, you've got the joystick at the top here. Uh, five games, Centipede, Sprint Master, Adventure, Gravitar, Yars Revenge. I, I, I can't stand Yars Revenge, I'm sorry if that's uh, not okay. But um, let's have a look. I'm going to get straight on with it. We're going to have a look at Gravitar. Press start. Yep. Yeah. Actually, sorry, I'm just going to zoom in. On this one, so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, right. Let's have a go. Oh, I, have to, I mean, I have to say, are you using the. Um, I'm going to die here, but I'll just zoom out so you can see what I'm using the stick here, you know, forwards is. Propels the ship. Um, the buttons to fire. Sorry, uh, and it's actually there's good, decent control on there. That's actually quite um, quite responsive. Yeah, happy with that. Let's have a go. Uh, Sprint master. One player, please. Yeah. Well, uh, right. Let's see what are the controls going to be on here. Okay. Oh, cut the corners, that's how to do it. Ah! Yeah, so you're um, just looking at which what I'm pressing here. Yeah, okay. I'll catch you. Oops. Ah! Okay, I mean, yeah, again, this is actually really responsive. It really is. That's uh, Okay, I'm, I'm a bit more impressed with that. As I said with the last one, but I don't know whether it was lag. It just felt a bit sticky, uh, if you know what I mean. The Pong reaction was terrible. 
Um, but that's, yeah, with the stick, that, that's really good. Uh, I'll just show you what adventure looks like on here. Because obviously it's quite a, quite a lot of moving around. So there, that looks, looks the part. You might not get the full thing on the camera there, but that looks pretty decent. Yeah, I'm just going to reset that one because it's not the best one to show off. Um, and centipede, let's have a look at centipede again. See how it looks. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay. Again, very responsive. That's interesting. I'm not. Uh, I'm much more impressed with this. I'm a bit disappointed that there's only five games in this one because this is the one that actually. Oh God! There we go. Yeah, that was probably as well as expected there. Um, so yeah, I mean, just hold it up so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So I mean, all in all, with the two here, zoom out a bit. All in all, with the two here, I mean, looks the part. This one. Love the yellow, love the fact it's recreated the old cabinet, looks great on a desk. A couple of the games seem to be playing okay. This paddle, well, these paddles are not nice, not pleasant at all. Um, especially on Pong, which is its show off, you know, that's the game that you want on this. So, yeah, very disappointed with that. However, 25 quid, and this is the problem of doing reviews of this sort. It's easy to say, oh, we should have had this, I should have had that on it. It's 25 quid. You know, I wasn't expecting a full arcade cabinet um, for that price. This one, much more responsive, um, didn't feel any lag whatsoever there. Um, yeah, very nice. Real shame there's only five games on this one. Real shame. Um, again, looks apart. It is actually not, it might appear like it might be quite cheap, this one. It actually feels decent quality plastic, just like the plastic here feels okay. Um, I really like the design on the side as well. So yeah, good. Is it worth 25 quid each? Mm, yeah, probably roughly. Probably. Let's say roughly it's worth that. Um, so yeah, I hope that's given you a little insight into these. So thanks very much for watching the video. Please uh, subscribe and like. Uh, catch you next time.